Well, hello boys and girls, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy, with another session on how to solve Sudoku puzzles. Now, last session we talked about TMB, top, middle, bottom, and horizontal blocks. Today I'm talking about vertical blocks. Vertical block is a block that goes from the top to the bottom. And in a vertical block we have three columns to make it up and make up the vertical block and as a result we have three blocks vertical blocks so we use this time a different set of words I call it LCR meaning left center right the left column the center column and the right column and so I'm going to show you how you calculate and how you solve certain puzzles and numbers with this system, similar to the TMB, but the up and down. Let's take one and we'll go up to nine. We'll start with this one. We have a one on the right column. We have a one on the center column. And over here on the left column, we don't have a one. And it's in this block and it has to be on the left column of this block. So we put the one there. Let's take two. Here we have it in the center, in this block. In this block it's in the left. Therefore, when we come to this block, it must be on the right. It can't be here because you will have two twos then. It can't be there because you'll have two twos. It has to go over there. Threes. Well, we have a three on the right. We have a 3 on the left. This block doesn't have a 3 and it has to go in the center. So it goes here. Fours. Here's a 4 in the center. Here's a 4 on the right. And over here we have a 4 on the left. Guess what? We don't have to worry about them because they're all there. We go to 5. 5. Let me see. There's a 5. Where is the 5? Let me check. Here's a 5 on the left, here's a 5 in the center, therefore in this block a 5 goes there. And we could, we could be sure of that because that was the only one left in this block. If we counted this block out, we know we can self-check, as it were. 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Good. Now let's go to 6. We have a 6 on the left column, we have a 6 on the right column. Therefore the 6 has to be in this one that doesn't have a 6. It has to be in the center. Now let's go to 7. We have one on the right column, one on the left, uh, no, one in the center, sorry, of this block. It has to go up here on the left, which makes sense because if that's the only one left in that block. 8. We have an 8 in the center. We have an 8 in the left down here. This block doesn't have an 8, so we have a, a center, a left. It has to be on the right. It has to be over there. And that fits because we've now completed that column. 9. Well, here's a 9 on the left. Here's a 9 on the right. This block doesn't have a 9, so we need to put it in the middle. And if we can double check and self check by counting this one up and see if we've got 1 to 9 there. So that's how you do it. Now let's try this one. Over here we have a 1 in the center. We have a 1 on the right. The 1 here has to be on the left. I'm going to go a bit faster. 2's. We have a 2 on the left. We have a 2 down here in the center. This one doesn't have a 2, so it has to be on the right column in that block. Let's go to 3's. Uh, we have a 3 up here on the right. We have a 3 in this block on the left. Therefore, the 3 has to be in the center in this block that doesn't have a 3. 4s. Let's look at the 4s. We have a 4 on the left up here. We have a 4 in the center. And down here, we must have a 4 there. And that's correct. We could self-check by counting this, this uh, block. And you'll find that it will count up to 9 and there's no repeated numbers. That's the rule, no repeated numbers. Okay, 5. Did we get to 5? Yes. If we have a, a right, a center, it has to be on the left. 6's. We have a left, 
we have a right. It has to be in the centre. And guess what? It is. Next take two sevens. We have a right. We have a centre. This one that doesn't have a seven has to be there. And that's the only one place it can go in that block. So we've got that right. Now, eight. We have an eight on the right. We have an eight in the centre. And we have an eight on the left. They're all there. So all we have now is nine. And we can go centre, left, right. This has to be the nine. And we know that for sure because that's the only one left in that column. And then it's the only one left in that block. So that's an introduction to the LCR. Now let's have a look at this one. I've put LCR, which stands for left, centre and right. And we've got lots of things to do here, lots of little ones that we can do here and get really used to looking for LCR, left, right and centre, because you know, left, centre, right, or right, centre, left, or centre, right, left, whatever combination you can get. But the more we know this, the better it will be when we come to the big puzzles which we're going to be doing uh, in the next few sessions. Okay, here we go. One, we'll do this fairly quickly. We have a left, we have a right, we have a centre. Great, it's done. Uh, we have a two. Uh, where we are, was it two, two, two? Goes in here. Three, so we have a three centre. Left has to be over here. Fours, we have a four, 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 they're all there. Five, 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 they're all there. Uh, six, six, this has to be a six. See the pattern, how it works? Uh, sevens, we have a seven and a seven here. Therefore, it has to be over on this side of this block. We have a right, we have a centre, and we have to have it here on the left. Eight, 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 they're all there. Nine, 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 we have a centre, we have a left, and this one that doesn't have a nine, it must go there. See how that works? And uh, we could self-check by counting here, one to nine, down that way. Fine, let's go this one now. Ones, we have a one on the right, we have a one on the left, we have one on the bottom, fantastic, done. Two on the right, two on the left, two in the centre, done. Three on the right, three in the centre, three has to be up here on the left. Fours, we have a four in the centre, we have a four on the right, we have a four on the left, done. Go to five. We have a five on the left, we have a five in the centre, we have five has to go down there on the right, so we'll put the five in. Okay, uh, sixes. We have a six in the centre, a six on the right, and a six on the left. They're all there. Sevens, we have a seven here, we have a seven in the centre, it has to be over here on the left. Eights. We have an eight here, and we have an eight down in here. So therefore, if this is a left and that's a centre, this one that doesn't have an eight has to be on the right. And we've only got one left out of all that. Let me see, what about nines? We have a nine here on the right, a nine on the left. It has to be in the centre, and it works out perfectly, and you can feel good about that. Say, so, oh, I, I solved it. Now, let's take these three blocks, vertical blocks, with the, with the columns, a left column, a centre column, and a right column. We'll go one on the right, one on the left. One has to be up in the centre, there it is. Twos, we have one on the right, one in the centre, it has to be on this left here, twos. Threes, we have one in the centre, uh, we have one in the left and one in the right, they're all done. Fours, we have one in the left, one on the right, and one in the centre, all done. Fives, we have, ooh, let me see now. We have a five in the centre, we have a five on the left. This one doesn't have a five and the only place it can go is there on the right. Oh, sixes, we have a six on the left, we have a six in the centre. In this block it has to be over on the right. Uh, we're nearly sevens. We have a seven in the right, a seven on the left. This one doesn't have a seven, it must go there. And I think we've, we've completed it already. So that's the end of this session. Next session, we take three of these and put them all together to make up a real Sudoku puzzle. So that's it for today. Bye.